Oh my god. What? Alright, let me know if anything came in. Okay, so we're so good. Where is it? Wall beam. I am you hit the audio I was like right? some smokes. Yes. I am rotating. Let me, you call for that pole, dude. Let me pause here, let me ask you, what are you thinking? Well, so, we just got one kill, uh, near Arcade, right? So, because we had three on A, I decided, like, I'll rotate over. Okay. Just in case they, like, were to push fast afterwards. Like, I didn't expect, um, uh, my Astro or Jet to, like, be coming with me. That's why I did tell- I think I did tell them to, like, stay back on A. Okay, what else are you thinking? Um, well, I mean, if, if they did, like, push fast, right, like, I can always, like, arrow somewhere on site, and then they would all be scanned as they walk in, which would make, like, everything go a little bit, like, smoother, I guess, right, in terms of, like, holding site. Okay. Anything else? And I guess that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, it makes sense for your team to rotate here, but what I'm worried about is that, obviously, your whole team is rotating, and that, just because that... You spot someone, and then your team got a right. kill, then your team's like, this is doing a super fast early rotate. And some cases that's okay, other cases it can be detrimental, like it could be a bait, you're not really sure. You should, like, um, maybe I guess it makes sense for you to rotate, because just because you're closest, but right, I would exactly. be worried, like, while you're rotating, I'd be worried to, to make sure that at least one person is staying back on A, just in case. Right, exactly. I think I think we did leave at least one on, on A site, though, for sure. Okay. Because I don't think they actually did hit B this round. Okay. So let's oh, see. Oh, wait, one drop, one drop, or dish. Uh, oh, also, I want to add too is that uh, it's not necessarily a huge deal for you and your team to rotate super fast because your team killed that person that they saw, so now it's 5v4. And also, right. Cypher has two trips, right? So, like, mm -hmm. it's making me really difficult for the enemy team to push through that. Almost uh, like not even a jack can like, even dash through those trips, right? So, while you're thinking that you should use your arrow to scan, it's a good idea. It's just that most likely those trips are going to be making first contact before your arrow can be useful. Right. Okay, so let's we'll see how we play it. Oh, wait, one drop, one drop, or dish. Uh, Phoenix, you call for that smoke drop. There's, there's, there's so no one more. one dish. Yep. At this point, I will be pushing up. I will be pushing up. I was just pushing up here, like around yeah. here. Dish. Uh, <clears throat> now it's five v three. You see Irena. Irena is pushing into arcade. In fact, she's already played arcade. Yeah. And now it looks like she's thinking about going underneath. So at this point, you can get the orb. Irena can get the orb. You can cover where she gets the orb or something like that. Wait, watch out, Drop. Yeah, that's the only place you can be. Alright, you'll just call it. They're both you mean. Astro's one. Oh, okay. Alright, talk to myself. myself. I think it's wrong. One enemy remaining. He's stuck. Really worried about this angle. This whole time, we're really about this angle. After your Cypher dies, now your Reyna is peeking through right. B stairs, and then you're still standing here waiting. So, like, you're not really going to get to the fight, right? Like, no, makes no, sense, okay, you should attract no, that. Then you, you go back to holding this angle. But if you look what's happening in front of you, like, Urena is, like, constantly peeking these stairs. Right, so... Also, even though, like, you're... You're technically in a good position, it's no longer a good position because Urena is not taking into account your position. So, she's giving the enemy team, like, a 1v1, right? So in this case, you actually want to reposition so that while this Urena is taking her, her, taking her engagement, that you can swing out and possibly peek with her. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing like a good position would probably be like double box, right? Like just so I can sort of double peek with her. I would just uh, stand close, close to that angle that you're holding here, so that as soon as Reina peeks, I mean, ideally she shouldn't peek. Right? At least she should like wait for them, wait for you to make contact with something, and then and then peek, or wait for the enemy right. team to get closer up the stairs, then do some sort of timing peek. Instead of like picking it all the way from the uh, bottom of B stairs. Mm -hmm. But but the fact that she is picking, like, you don't have a choice of to play this position anymore unless unless you want to wait until the Reyna dies. I mean, that's typically like the, the worst case scenario, right? For like 
Right. Like you, you kind of get no value until Arena dies, and then you can start getting value. Instead, you want to look to get value while the Arena is alive, while the Arena is peaking and dueling somebody. So look to do something off of that. Whether that's repositioning, whether that's gaining position and then like swinging off, off that contact. When Raider makes contact, you swing out, you force that to come 2v1. Whether that's th shooting an arrow, do, like while one of Raina is like baiting their attention, you shoot an arrow at them. Whatever, whatever. Or maybe even as, while she's while she's baiting attention, you push the, the other way. Maybe you push, uh, you push arcade and you try to get to, get to like a flank or something. But basically, anything besides just standing here. Standing here is the worst thing you can do. They're both even. Astro's one. Oh, okay. Alright, right, right, for myself. myself. I I really and then, especially after this wall goes up, I'm really concerned about... Because the wall is, is, is going up to, to isolate the 1v1 with the Raina, right? So that right. while you're sitting on the side of the wall, you can't help her at all. So, right away, uh, you should be looking to like yeah, use your dart or something, or your arrow. Or even just just reposition, get get to the other side of this wall so that when Vayner does peek, then you can do something to help her. One enemy remaining. He's stuck here. He's stuck here. Spike down. Ah. So just like that, Vayner's dead, and now this wall is like no, kind of blocking you. I'm sorry. Oh, the sovereign. The sovereign is such a good ghost skin, dude. I know. Come into the unknown. Evan, don't okay, Aries mana, like, like it. I'm gonna wall yep. bang them. I'll go for wall bang, mate. Here. We hear something coming. I don't hear Let me ask you, what are you thinking? I mean, so we didn't really hear anything towards A, I don't think, right? So I was just kind of waiting to see, which I probably shouldn't be just sitting around, I know that. Yeah. I feel like I probably should have gone maybe ropes, right, to watch the door. Because they can always shift to walk up, right? Okay, but well, if they, if they um, come door, then the door makes a loud sound. Right, exactly. Okay. So it's like, I guess I don't have to watch it, like, like, uh, what is it, like, all the time, but I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't <clears throat> just be doing nothing here. Okay, yeah. Like, the start of this round, it's like, you don't have, like, a game plan. Evan, don't look right. Like, you're, you're sending CT, you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna go ropes, and then, okay, I'm, I'm gonna ropes, I'm, not, I'm gonna go drop, and you choose not to go drop. Then you just stand CT yeah. again, you're thinking, like, what do I do, what do I do, like... You, as an initiator, especially, you should be looking to gain information for your team. Whether that's, let's say, if you were drop, you could shoulder peek, or jiggle peek, the, the dish, to see, okay, is anyone at dish? Or... If you want, you can shoot an arrow, or you can drone, right? You have all these tools to gain information. Get some early information about where the enemy is. Like who, who's that drop? If that drop is clear, do I hear any footsteps? Do I see anybody? Do I, do I spot anyone? Do I catch him with my drone? And if so, who do I catch? Oh, I see the jet, or I see Reyna, or I don't see those two, or whatever, right? Especially as an initiator, because, because you have those tools that no one else does to, to gain information. Like, safely getting information without really risking your life. So, I would say, try to make that be one of your goals for every single round. Try to get information at, at some part of the map. Instead of just kind of playing around City Spawn, waiting, waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Okay. So waiting around, oh and then God, stuff does happen in that B. And then, okay, we got a help of Ana ACP. Damn, got a help of ACP, okay, not bad. Just play a little bit. We might be a little bit too late though. Right. Are they up on site or no? Yeah, yeah. Probably the first thing I would do is, is oh I would probably God, dart. Lot, I mean, right. the shark dart is not bad. I would probably, uh, act like a Damn, econ. A because as, whenever I see like a, a smoke or like a viper wall, or whatever that's trying to block my view, like, a recon arrow is like the hardest counter. Like it will scan people, and then especially if Aries, you just spray through the smoke and then you just die, right? <laughs> so if they're anywhere on site, minus like uh, minus uh, how does it explain? Like the, like the not the not the default spot. Like if if they're anywhere on the boxes, then you can you can spam that with Aries and they'll die. But the other places that's uh, like to the on site to the left, that's like probably the only place that's semi safe and tower. Okay. 
But basically, I, I'd be looking to get into this fight ASAP because uh, where Reyna is, is positioned, like she's in a position to make first contact like immediately. If anyone, if any enemy team is like pushing, Reyna's gonna get to go fight ASAP. And then based on where you're standing, where your team is standing, nobody is in position to help her, especially with this uh, viper wall up in, in your face. So the main goal I would be looking to do is is to help Reyna ASAP. I mean, she managed to get kill two people, but that's not something you should always rely on. Oh, I'm going to be there. 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 I'm going to be I'm getting fucking spammed, dude. Can you not do that? Wait, Evan, I stole that. I stole that share. What? Don't ever do that again, Evan. What? Were you going for the share? Speak. What? Huh? What? Huh? What the fuck? What? Wait, what's happening? Huh? I wanna pull A main. I wanna pull A main. One thing, this guy's just like, don't ever speak ever again. I'll pin your. Huh? What? I hear them. Yeah, they're aiming, they're aiming. Too far, far away from this door. Too far away from this door. So, like, well. I hear them. Yeah, they're aiming. Looking at their jet. Your jet's spamming the corner. Like, right. no one's gonna open a door until jet makes contact. So, if your goal is to play off contact with your jet, then you should basically be, like, hugging the, hugging the far wall to your right. So right, right next to the door, so that as soon as the jet makes contact, you open the door and then you join the fight. True. Yeah. I fight door already. Also, you're exposed to drops, so be careful about that. Yeah. No, no, no. Arrow when I tell you to. Arrow. Standing ahead. Oh, I got. Let's help you, Ashra. Help you, Ashra. Get this guy. Close, 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 close. Spike down A. You don't need to drone. Both hit 75. The tank is nice, but it doesn't tell you anything you don't already know. Last guy's 75. Oh, I decimated their team. If we go easy on them, they will I hit, never I hit everyone 76, 75, 150, yeah, 80, 150. What is it yours? No, no, no it's Ian's. Oh, I was about to say, it's nice though, right? Best Aries skin. This yeah, and the singularity are fire. So we yeah. Looks like Paul the Odin here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No. There's no way. Oh, they're fucking me. I got a buff. I hear you. Was it consensual? No. God damn it. I fucking knew I was dead. There's one arcade. Can I help your jet? Your jet's coming to this arcade. <laughs> yeah, Yo, back, back to it, boys. Down, B. Get out, get out, fire drill. I think it's a little bit early. Yeah, I would say it's too early at this point because now it's too low. So, don't worry, you guys. I'd be walking a bit off or early. So, you hear the Viper Wall go off, and you don't want to join from this this distance. It's because, especially your your Silver, Silver is probably the hardest counter to, to Viper in general because right. his Dart and his, his uh, Recon. Can ping people through her viper wall, through her smoke, right? So you want to save that utility, especially when they have viper wall active, or even if they have it available, you want to consider just saving it just in case that viper activates her ult, so that you have you have those utility available to ping people inside the smoke. So in this case, what I would do is that I would get closer, get your team 
have everyone in your team get in position to like have everyone like set up around like a kill squad almost like outside the back worlds then just tell your team hey just just set up i'm gonna i'm gonna dart inside well i'm gonna i'm gonna recon uh recon drone like inside the back wall and then you're gonna ping somebody and then that person is gonna get sprayed by like, four people right Oh. Like joining from here doesn't really like give you that same level of information. It just tells you like yeah, it was inside the right right smoke, as you would expect. Don't worry, you guys have a perfect anyone. plan for this. Even this start is a little bit early because like your team's not set up to it's not close enough to to Killjoy is in tower to do anything off of it. <laughs> Why not? Get out of my oh way! My, I clicked it, I swear Get I clicked it. I swear I clicked it. B main, B main, B main. I'm, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. At this point, you should have like a semi read that they keep going B every round. You might, should at least consider pushing parts of A. We gotta help you win, help you win, help you win now. Nice good job. Spike oh, is nearby. You saw her turret. Spike is beat. Probably dart over this box. Yep. Probably under. Probably under. Probably under. Well, your dart yeah, kind of yeah. fell short. Okay, nice good trade. Very good. There a gun there. Imagine that works. So you notice this round is way different than the other rounds, right? Right. At least, uh, like here is kind of the same. Kind of the same. We're not really holding anything that Jess and Ori holding. And then we're like, okay, Arena. Arena's like we're finding 1v5 here, like she needs help, right? Oh. Then we're like, okay, let me help Arena. Great. Perfect. Good trade. Or even. Spike is B. Right? This whole time, like, we're, we're following our team in, following, following, following. Like, this is what you want to be doing. Where, like, someone is making a play, this Arena is going balls deep, and then we're, we're here to back her up. That's what you want to do, like, all the time. <laughs> oh fuck, oh yeah, fuck, oh! Yeah. So far... Spike down, B! Don't play... Don't let do a one, see the spawn... Wrong, Spectre! Yeah, okay. I'm gonna change to the We can walk like again. There's, There's one disc. Yeah. 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 One still be me. Uh, uh, Gary, call for my smoke. Uh, Wait, Ian, you can leave. You can leave. I'll tell you Ashford to play B. Okay, never mind. It actually opened the door. Okay. Gotta help you, help yourself through. I think you, you can't be afraid of this, this smoke in front of you. I should have just walked through. Yeah, just walked through. So like right here, right? Like, you guys are playing a little split, which is not necessarily bad. The problem is that the enemy team is now isolating each one of you. Right. So that that person that's on drop, the viper that's on drop, can take a 1v1 with the cypher without worrying about you. Just because that, because you're afraid of the smoke. And based on where the cypher was positioned, that most likely nobody has made it onto site yet. And... Most likely that no one is even a main yet. I mean, like, they're, they might be, like, close, but they're... Or not, they might be in a main, but they're not close to the, the smoke outside of a main. Plus, you actually put that smoke so that it makes it easier for you, for you to defend in case, in case they do decide to push the smoke, right? But the issue here is that the Cypher took this one with the Viper, and you're, you're not really there to, like, help them or trade them. Instead, you just kind of back off because you're too, too afraid. And same thing, now, now the Astro like, takes a 1v1, 1v2 actually with the jet. 
Like that jet is actually a long door or something. Maybe she's like the boy. And then here we just we just we're still just standing here doing nothing. Spike planted. Now this jet is oh, taking another one away, and we're just we're just walking around CT. Now the smoke is gone. Now you can do something. But now two of your teammates already died. Just take the one v one on B Phoenix here. Yeah. On ropes. Find you fast. Find you fast. Yeah, you guys actually have this if you just cover your jump. Last player standing. I see you. Yeah, so I, like I knew one was definitely gonna come from mid, but I didn't expect one to be main. That's unfortunate. I thought the bomb was uh right. Like that's that's why we started running towards G. Unlucky, honestly. Okay, not a big deal, but more so focused on the two passiveness by by being afraid of a smoke. It put some shit on B. Can you pop a smoke Order. over here? You should run. Uh, I think, I think we hit well. um, so one thing I want to add is that uh, if you played more aggressive on opposite bomb sites, because like so far the enemy team has has hit bomb site B like four or five times, right? Mm -hmm. Like consecutive hit B, and then especially like let's see the beginning rounds. That uh, Killjoy has your ults, most likely you should all make think like she's fucking use your ult on B. So that if you played more aggressive, you could play aggressive on A and push and it gets your team information. Or on the rounds that um, she doesn't have her ults, then you can you can actively try to contest the orb, get the orb so that when Killjoy does use her ult, then you have your ult to counter it. Right? You can use your right. your silver Hunter's Fury to shut down her ult completely. And that's like a huge win because like Killjoy ult is like can single-handedly take it to tank, take down a site, whereas your ult is really just for post plant most of the time. Um, we, we phase, and we should just play back. I'm, fuck, I'm dead. I'm <laughs> Oh, jazz hands. Spike planted. I think that's a pretty good thing. Deploying drone. Okay, good trade. Yeah, I would just arrow on that side. I would consider even just like shooting a shock dart on side or a toy tower just in case. Because it's very common for, for someone to be hiding like on top of bomb. Or someone to be hiding like right, right around this corner on tower that I would right. just by default just shoot a shock dart there. You're, you're probably gonna hit somebody. I got pulled off of it. Stick it. Yeah, it's right now. Yeah, it's too late. Stick the Thanks. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, Actually, wait, can you pause it right here? Yep. So, cause I, okay, so, uh, I, I remember after this round, right, so the, I, I've, I've seen this happen before <clears> where it's like, if you get pulled, if you get pulled, like, while we're trying to stick the bomb, like, if you have a teammate right next to you, you can actually sort of, like, yeah, body you, block, the, yeah. right, you can body block the suck, right, yep. which is what, like, Arena was just telling me, which I completely forgot about, right, I think he was trying to, but, like, what is that, I, I, don't, I don't think I let go of the bomb, though, that's the thing, it just straight up pulled me off, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, there are little, little tricks that you can do to try to prevent the suck, or prevent the pull. Right. Okay, anything, anything else? Any other questions? No, that was, that, that was the only thing I was going to say. I'm going to actually tell you too that there's, there's smokes on A. <clears throat> Oh, that's really bad. Unfortunately, you died. I think were you peeking because you thought the Reyna had had view? Is that why? Yeah. Hmm. I think maybe you just need to look the the mini map because like you see you do that's see true, the Reyna yeah. you, yeah, yeah, you I see the Reyna like through the wall, there. but you don't actually see the vision cone, which means that right. she's inside the smoke. 
So she doesn't actually have vision of uh, below ropes. I, th I think that's also... Wait, I, I think it might have just been like, I thought there was nobody there. So I mm. like swung out. Let's see, was, there was a door opening lane. Right? Drop me a deagre, I don't think. You hear me, main? I will call that out. You hear the door open, and you hear sand. Right. Uh -huh. So to someone who's definitely there. It could be out right here, yeah. You want to fight it! Oh, he's turned around. In rope, in rope. It's sure, going to bounce for you, play loss, because what I'm expecting is that, uh, yeah, actually, Asher is ulting, but if even the Viper, they get on sight in the Viper ult, then it's like, the bounce over. Drop. I got the Yeah, we lost that one. Shit protecting him. So, this one I'm, I'm looking to see if you use your utility against the Viper ults, make sure you stay alive, and then set up your team, set up yourself to drone and, and dart inside the Viper ults when it happens. Can you call for my son? Oh yeah? Okay, someone gets one. This game is actually not that bad. Call for my call as well. Viper. One more. Oh. No, you should save this. One, one more tower. tower. I mean, one more. Let me know when they plant. Oh! Get one under. Get one under pass. He's gonna be lazy, man. Nice, good kill. So what did Vector die? Oh, Vector already died. Okay, never mind. So we're in yeah, the back, it's fine. Under, they went under path. One can be tower right now. I think Jet can be main. I think double done be main in one tower. Oh no, they don't have any line up. Oh, let's get inside ACP. You can't say <laughs> and just watch Tyler. There he is. He's having a shot. He's smoky. Sounds like when he hauled. They smoky as well. Could be up arcade right now. You go back here. You run here instead of walking. And you play. Yeah, what, what are you thinking? I actually don't really know, honestly. Because, like, all. like, So, I ran up, pushed out um, this side. So, I knew, like, there couldn't really be anything, like, up until, like, our, maybe arcade. Right? Because okay. he, hasn't, he hasn't cleared that yet. So, like, I guess, like, I, I was trying to walk so that, like, they didn't hear me rotating in. Cause like, I, I guess like there could be at most like maybe like two and then plus like our arena flanking them. Okay. What else are you thinking? I mean, like right now, well, I feel like, well, I mean like a lot of the stuff I'm saying right now, I think it's more like what I like, what I'm finding out now, like after the game. Okay. Cause I'm not sure if like, this is the same stuff I was thinking about in game. Okay. But okay. um like like that like now that I'm looking at this, like because we pushed through the entirety of uh the entirety of like dish and like almost arcade, right? They could they could just be on the other side of the map, right? And like our cipher could like get pushed at any moment, I think. Yeah. Okay, so but yeah. I'll say that if your goal was to be quiet here, then you have two options. One is to just full stop and go left side, like go canteen, right? And and then if they were arcades, then they they will be too you'll you'll be too far away from them to hear people running through canteen. But they could hear you if you were going CT. So if you okay, so it makes sense for you to walk from CT. But then why bring your gun out? Because there's a viper wall here, and the person who's going to make first contact is your jet. So, you you bring your gun up, but you're not really gonna get into a gunfight until Jet is probably gonna die. Like probably Jet, Jet is probably gonna die first before your gun becomes useful. So instead, you should just keep your knife out and try to rotate as fast as possible. And just get onto site first, right? And get get to get to your Jet as fast as possible, okay. or your Asha, whichever one becomes higher priority. 
right. so going right then you can walk but walk with your, your knife out so you still want to rotate that so with, with your knife out instead of um adsing with your gun because there's no point in you adsing here you're not gonna find you're not gonna see anybody with this wall in front of you and then if you were to see somebody it's gonna be your jet seeing that person first and then so then the other option is that you go left side of canteen and you can full rush and, and get the asap that would be the other option Okay, yeah, so let's see how you play this out. Yep, yep somebody's on side already, and then we, we, again, we're, we're still on this side of the wall, not doing anything. Arcade. Yo, kind of a slow rotation. Arcade. No, I think they suck it every time. I can't we need to it. kill the killjoy. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you, what are you thinking this round? So, I mean, like, I, I was gonna let our jet, uh, like, take the first peek, since, what is it, since our jet could always, like, dash away after one shot. And then, okay. like, as they're pushing up, I might, like, I could probably swing, because they might not expect me. Okay. What else? Um, let's see. I think, yeah, that's all I was really thinking at this moment. Okay, then let me ask you, why are you playing B? Well, I mean, I, I think at this point, like, we've established that they, they've, been, they, they've been going B, like, too often at this point, and so we finally tried playing 3B, I think. Okay, if, if they keep going B, then what about if you would have just pushed through A? Just like your, your arena did last round, right? So the last round... Where's your vena? She's at drop. Pushing dish. Pushing dish. Pass the dish. Now she's T spawn. Now she's on a huge flank on arcade. Oh, yeah. Might just look at the minimap to see like where's the vena, where's the vena. Arcade. Gets a big flank and then, well, she's unfortunately she's, she's, she's too late. But otherwise, she's a, she would have been in a good position to like catch somebody off guard, right? Yeah. So, the, the next round, this round. You have this read that, okay, they keep going B, then I'm, I'm probably going to expect them to go B again. Then, instead of playing playing B yourself, that you can just play aggressive on A, right? By playing aggressive on A, you get an orb, you get map control, you get information, and you get a good flank. So, not saying that uh, you should definitely go on a lick or definitely go on the flank, like every single round, or even this specific round, but just... Trying to propose it as an option. So whenever you have a, a read, a good read that that the enemy is going a specific area, you don't necessarily always have to stack that area on defense. But instead, you could just go where the enemy is not going. And yeah. by doing so, you gain other thing, other benefits for your team. Right? You get information, you get map control, you get more options, you get more angles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Like, like, the, the only thing though about what is it about like what is it like me like lurking right because like i play solo like i don't want to potentially like like be the one lurking right and then i end up late and then the team doesn't have any util to like retake with because like the like my dart my dart and drone are like so important right and like in yeah. terms of retaking that it's like if i'm on the flank then it's like everybody has to wait for me yeah That's, so like, it depends how fast you think they're going to execute on B, and how fast you think you're able to lurk, and how safe you think your lurk can can be. I think, uh, especially as Sova, you probably have the safest lurk, because you have tools to gain information without putting yourself at risk. Whether that's you dart somewhere, and then your dart doesn't spot you. Like, say you dart uh, um, the, the barrier at T-spawn, like, after, after the, the dish. You dart that lands right in front of the barrier, it doesn't spot anybody, that means you can most likely push up. Unless someone like happens to be waiting like around the corner out of range of the dart for whatever reason. And then after you push up, then maybe you decide to drone. Or instead of darting, maybe you decide to drone. Right? And then if your drone sees someone, then you know, okay, that someone's someone's at dish. And maybe I shouldn't be looking. Maybe I, maybe they're playing default, maybe I should just play normally. 
or if your drone doesn't spot anybody maybe your drone clears all of this and it, it doesn't it clears all of t-spawn right now you can basically like full sprint through dish all the way to like halfway of t-spawn and then start walking right and that greatly speeds up your your flank it greatly speeds up your lurk because now you don't have to like walk the entire way like your arena did the previous round but said you can cut, kind of cut that, that, that cut that time in half almost So as Silva, I, I think I feel like you have more and safer tools to lurk with because of because of your utility. And the, the decision to, to lurk and the value you get from the lurk depends heavily on how fast you think the enemy team is gonna execute. If you if you think they're gonna like five man um, rush onto B, then yeah, you probably don't have time to get a good look in unless you communicate to your team, say, hey, like so I'm gonna like push A or something like that. Right? Any questions so far? No. no. Okay. But again, I just want to propose it as an alternative. Not saying that you should be looking this round or every round, right. but just giving it as an option that if you if you think they're gonna push a second site, you don't always have to stack that site. Yeah. <laughs> and then actually Urena is pushing okay. I think they're going under. Two, so automatically yeah. it tells you yeah, that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, no one's arcade. Most likely, no one's be stairs. You're alone You're on flight. Flight. You should run. Yeah, they're all yeah, they're... Right. Let me ask you, what are you thinking? So, well, I mean, like, I. So I see the ult, and like, I see like. Three people, like, pretty. Well, I mean, our like our reina's about to, like, about to like get in range of the ult, but I'm pretty sure. He's probably just going to like wait, right? And then like get a fast flank on them, which is why like I backed up just to like sort of wait out the ult. Okay, what else? Um let's see. I mean like I, I feel like I can't really do much, like given that like there's I guess like five seconds until like everybody gets detained in that area okay so like i don't want to push up any further because i don't think i'll really have time to do anything okay what if your teammates stay in the ult? like what if your cypher stays on a site well then they get detained and they probably die okay then then what do you do you just let them die well i mean like if i push up like i also get detained though right yes there's not that much time though for me to really do much i don't think there's there's time to, to do something right so maybe your, your team decides to to stay in the alt and then get detained but maybe your team is like oh shit, this this ult's going off let me try to get back to safety let me get towards cd spawn but then in doing so the enemy team uh starts an engagement and you know, pushes through the smoke and then kills your sector mid rotation right that's the main thing that i'm worried about that while your team is running to a CT spawn, that the enemy team pushes and then catches them mid rotation, catches them out in the open with no cover, and then they're too busy doubling the wrong way. Maybe they're looking the wrong way as well, and then they get shot in the back and they die. And in doing so, there's no one there to help them. There's no one there to trade them. There's no one there to cover them while they're rotating. Right? So. There's, you have two options here. One is that uh, games go bad. one you is that run. you see assaults, yeah. and then you see that your Asha is still here, peeking through. Well, not really peeking through, but she's looking at the drop, looking at the smoke, waiting for someone to come out of the smoke. And then instead of you, you just kind of turning around, is that what you can do? Is that you also push up and just like stand in the like the CT connector kind of doorway, so that. If someone were to drop down, like push through the smoke, and then kills your Astro or kills your Cypher, that you'll be there to trade trade your teammate out. Instead of overly worrying about this alt. I mean, you can still so you can still like get value even though you still have to like run away from the ult, right? Because the ult, you still have eleven seconds from the ult. It only takes a few seconds for you to run from CT connector 
to outside of the range of this ult that you have at least five seconds of you gaining value, you covering for your teammates before you have to run away from the ult. Okay. The second option, and this is probably the easier option, is that you just go through ropes. And you see it oh, from yeah. the minimap oh, okay. there. That right. ropes. There's, there's, yeah. an open, there's an open area there. Right, exactly. And, and I also can... have an angle and drop there to help my Astra. Right, exactly. So instead yeah. of like kind of just like, oh, I don't know if I should go here. Oh, let me just turn, turn around. Let me go CT spawn. Now we're not choosing any of these any of these options. Now we're getting zero value while your team is like at risk of getting detained or at risk of getting picked off mid rotation. I mean, maybe there might be even a third option that I just thought of. So, I mean, so so like I'm looking at the position of the of the Killjoy ult and like potentially I think it's po it it should be possible that I can bounce two shock darts off right and actually yeah. break it. You probably I think could. so, yeah. Yep. I probably could. It's just I'd have to like guess, I guess, like where to bounce it off of. Because it's not guaranteed that I, I can really land it like directly spot on. I think you could might if, not do if you damage. if you stood in CT spawn doorway and right. you looked at drop and you just bounced uh -huh. it off the like the the right side of drop if that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah. like it because it, it's it's tucked really far in the corner and I'm, I don't know if like the what is it like the bounce could really like land spot on with that spot. I, I can always test it, I guess. I think it's worth trying. Right. Instead of backing off, if you realize that it's an option to shock dart it, just go for it. Right. Because two shock darts or even one shock one or two shock darts for an ult is like super worth. Oh, believe in yourself. Okay. Okay. But anyways, we the focus is that we want to get some sort of value. Some sort of value, whether it's your shock darts or whether it's like peeking your teammates or covering your teammates. Or getting to a better position, like from ropes, and then maybe you can have the same level of value by covering your teammates, and soon not have to worry about getting detained, right? That's what you want. Looking to get value. Instead of here, we're in CT spawn, what's gonna happen? The, the enemy team could push at any time and then have isolated 1v1s with, with your Cypher, with your Astro, right? And you're not there to help them. Cypher dies, unfortunate. They could go. Never mind. Take flight. One was main. This right? is too early. Oh, I guess maybe not because for some reason Viper hasn't used her ult. Help Astro, help Astro, help Astro. The run begins! Oh, I remember what happened here. He might Viper be actually all the ran all the way around and took the zip, I think. Okay, oh, that's yeah, really smart. Yeah. yeah. Okay, in this case, you can push really fast with this Asher wall. So, okay. yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if I... Yeah, yeah, the, the Viper, yep. Yeah, okay, that was smart. Was pushing, yeah. No, man. No, they're gonna be again. You should tell your team that the Viper put a wall at B. Whenever the enemy team like uses utility, sight. especially utility that doesn't come back, like a viper wall, yeah, you should like come that to your team. Tell them like the viper wall B. Most likely they're gonna come B. Yeah, there it is. How is she running and doing that? And then you should be coming to your team like what you see, what you hear. So you see the vi the viper wall go down. Tell them that you hear that someone is is a uh, beast stairs, and you hear that someone is getting orb. Like tell them that so that your team knows that. They need to rotate, or they need to speed up their play. Right, so by calming all these things, automatically you tell your team that there's already at least two to three people here, and that that Dirashua is dead, and that therefore we're going to need help like ACP, and that because the vet ball is here, most likely it's going to be a B hit. So you guys need to rotate ACP, or you need to speed up your play. So for example, the Reyna whose play is right now is like lurking, pushing dish, then if she receives those comms, then she'll know whether that she should continue lurking. If she does, she should look really fast, like not even like shift walk, but maybe just like full sprint. Or she should give up the lurk and then just rotate as fast as possible to CT spawn. But she's not going to know to make those, like, she's not going to be able to make the best possible decision 
if she doesn't receive the information that you and your team, you and your B players have. So, in other words, communication is important. Okay, any questions so far? Uh, no. Okay. So, communicate to your team everything you see and hear. Then, okay. That's crazy. Enemy killed. Watch this. Enemy spotted me. It's just Glenn. I would just give it a kid. Uh, yeah. Can you know, just go tower? Maybe or yeah. Or I would just push tower. I hear you. What? After Ash dies, it's unfortunate. After after Jet gets this kill, her position is compromised, and she was getting sprayed at a little bit from from B stairs. So you already know that, kind of like where they are, that. Uh, you're kind of like trapping yourself on site while Jet is like making this play. And she's ulting, right? She's updrafting, she's going she's going in, right? At this point, I would already be pushing, like giving up B stairs and just go go tower. And then maybe I can trade off my Jet because our Jet's making a play like within the next one or two seconds. Okay. So, um, something to look for is body language. Body language of your, your teammates. How is she running and doing that? That's crazy. Going on here, your, your jet is just like pulling close of a shotgun, gets a kill, she dashes away, she uses the ult, right? She's updrafting. All these things are, are like cues that she's she's ulting for a reason, she's updrafting for a reason. That most likely it means she's doing those things because she's trying to make a play, she's trying to go, go in, she's trying to play aggressive, right? The rule of thumb is that whenever our team or teammates are playing aggressive, then we also want to play aggressive. We don't want to be sitting in the back, like even like here, where you're sitting on site. You're you're semi defending B stairs, although you're, putting, you're basically putting yourself in like a corner. That um, you're you're letting the the fight or letting the round be dictated elsewhere, and then hence that you're you're not getting any value while this is happening. You're not contributing at all while this is happening. So what I would do in this situation is that I would just give up B stairs, just let them take B stairs, take sight, whatever. We can play for retake, but the highest priority thing right now is to help my jet. Is that I want to trade up my jet that she's going to find a fight, she's going to take a 1v1 with somebody, and then I want to be there to turn that fight into a 2v1. And make sure that whoever she fights, it becomes like stacked in, in our favor. Okay, any questions so far? No. Okay. And uh, yeah, other thing too is that typically you don't want to be staying on site. It made sense at the beginning because uh, you have your, your jet playing arcade, you have your, your Astro playing from Taro. So you within the comfort of your teammates, then your teammate can help you out. You can play off contact with each other. But Astro dies. And now automatically at this point, you're alone on site. Like nobody can come to site to help you. Not even the jet because she has a shotgun. And then she's like overly focused on, on arcade. So that even if she did have a regular gun, that most likely she's not gonna help you on site. So on Mac in this this position, if your goal was to um, hold B stairs, I I wouldn't even play on site because it's gonna be too easy to get one over. That yeah, automatically I would just kind of rotate to to tower so at least I can still hold B stairs and have an escape plan. In general, you want to be playing positions where you have an escape plan. Unless you're you're specifically trying to catch someone off guard, or you're trying to like specifically trying to like play a one and done position, like for example, like um, if you have like a, a if you have a judge, for example, or if it's like an eco round, your save round, whatever, then then it's fine to like take those kinds of risks, but not if you're trying to play normally with like a phantom. Okay. Okay. So yep. kind of what I would expect to happen is that. Multiple people are gonna push B stairs. They're gonna fight you on site, and then your only escape is to headshot two people in a row, which is you're not really gonna be able to rely on that consistently. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. So let's see how this one plays out. Playing really passive, unfortunate. That jet dies. Uh, now, we're, now we're gonna get now we're gonna get sandwiched because now perfect. someone's uh, a viper is pushing from our cave. Not okay. Uh, pushing the tower. 
Tar tar rope. You get traded out okay, immediately. And now your team's in 2v3. Yeah. And now like plus and now because you're dead, that your team can't use your your dart, your util that would otherwise like like completely counter her all. But now because you're dead, that that's not possible. So two takeaways from this one so far is that you're you're too passive when your team is making plays and you put yourself in one and done positions. Where you you get the kill on the kill joy, which is great, but there's no way for you to like unless you kill all two, three, four people that are pushing you, there's no way for you to survive that round. Okay, any questions so far? No. Okay. Okay, so let's go. So we team loses. <laughs> Oh, I did too. Viper in 90. Okay. Reloading. Reloading. something. Coming through. Standing ahead. Okay. Nice. I love this plant spot. Now you want to just play play a hole ACP. Yep. And then hopefully your jet realizes, or you can communicate with your jet. Tell your jet to just hide. You play a contact of each other. She should ideally hide until you peek. Uh, unfortunate. Yeah. I think maybe you should have communicated. I threw. I should have killed that guy. No. She threw because she peeked too early. So again, communication is important. That you could you could have told your dead to, to say, just hide on site. Let me make first contact, and then you can and then just keep it out. What's with you enforcing? Hmm? What is up with you enforcing? Oh, hey, we got plant though. Alright, got until we lose. Um, <clears throat> not. All right, Aries Meadow. We spotted A. Reloading. We're up top. And now we're supposed to drop. Deploying drone. Shot that down. Uh, oh, oh. oh. Yep. I remember. The, the drone broke before I can even check it. Yeah. yeah I forgot to check it afterwards. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. It's okay. The enemy team took a risk and it just happened to pay off. Oh, wait. Two of them do that. Take flight. Reloading. Wait, was anyone close, right? Yeah. No, no, I didn't see anybody. No, no, no. You see something? Actually, I'm going to pause here anyways. I want to ask you, what are you thinking in this situation? Well, so... So we, so we got one pick, right? Uh, near ropes, and then there was one more, I think. Okay. Um. So I, I was going to... I think I dart sight here. And then we're just going to take sight. Okay. So, like, I'm, I mean, well, do you, well, this is this isn't something that I caught like, like while I was playing, but our Reyna is lurking up B. Yeah, exactly. So your Reyna is right. lurking B, and because that the previous rounds, and actually I think the last two rounds you guys went A. Let's see, the last one, last one you definitely went A. Then none of the yeah. round before that. We yeah, we haven't gone B for sure. Yeah. So two rounds in a row, you've gone gone A. Now this round again. Next one. And this one again, and you guys are at Kinu B. Now it's 4v4. You guys made a lot of noise. You hear, they hear two people at, at, at uh, A main for sure. <clears throat> they might hear the Astro, I'm not sure, maybe, who knows. But they hear at least two people, right? And then because your team has hit has hit A two times in a row, now this is the third time that they're starting to get conditioned 
that this is going to be another A hit, right? So you have two options. One is that your team plays slow, baits attention, allows your Reyna to get a good lurk off. Maybe she gets control of B, then she says, okay, B's clear. Then she like sets up CT spawn or whatever, tries to catch the rotation, while your team completely gives up on A and rotates all the way directly to B site. All right, so that's one option that you guys just kind of fake this, go B. The second option is that you guys just play slow at A, wait for Reyna to get in position on, on her lurk, and then as soon as um, she makes contact with somebody, that you guys will hard execute onto A. Okay. Right? But the, the, the basis idea is that you want to get value out of this Reyna lurk. That you don't want to be executing too quickly on A before Reyna actually um, gets control B or before Reyna like, gets set up into CT spawn or gets a flank on people on A. But but you don't want to like kind of yeah you don't want to like waste her her lurk opportunity here. Yeah. Any questions so far? No. Yeah. Let's see how it plays out. No close end. One with close end for sure. Standing ahead. Wait. One open door there. Right. So I decided to. I would just spam. I just spams. So as soon as you dart the bottom of site, it pings, or, or rather it scans for the, the site and sees that, okay, bottom of site is clear, and automatically I would just spam the top of site just in case someone's hiding there. And especially if you have areas, and then you just automatically clear, the site's clear. I mean, I guess besides stairs. Yeah. I was, I was just worried about behind because the door did open, right? Mm. So like I wanted to push off the site first. Before, yeah, yeah and then I got caught right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rana so, yeah. did say to chill. Yeah. She had a flank. Yeah, looks like the second thing happened where like you guys committed onto A, but it was too fast. Because your Rana was like she was setting up to get a flank from C to spawn to A. And you guys were already like committing onto site. So a little bit of his Communication, a little bit of his coordination. I mean, you're even if you you wanted to to just sit, sit a main and just like poke a bit, make noise. It seems like your jet. Ahead. Wait. Your jet is well, actually maybe you're the first one in. Yeah, you're the first one in actually. Yeah. Your jet dashes in, so now this is like really committed. But Urena has like has not made it to this Asher yet, or the the enemy Asher, right? Urena is still walking CT spawn. Mm -hmm. So this AX here is is too fast. I don't, I don't know if any of us really realized that Arena was flanking. Yeah, you just have to like pay attention to minimap at all times. Right. Like that, that, this, that type of play, and that those decisions can only be made if like, yeah. if you're at like this point, even flight. before this actually, at this point, around here, you sort of realize like, oh, we're all playing a little bit split. The only, we're only stacked on E main right now. And that we're not really sure if we're gonna hit A, or if we're not really sure if we're gonna fake A or B yet. But now, now we have that option, right? Now, now that as soon as Sector dies, and then we trade out the Cypher, now it's a 44. And based on the previous rounds, we've we've sort of baited the enemy team to rotate to A. So it's like a combination of things. So like something that just happened, the Cypher died. We've made a lot of noise at A. Our rain is in position for a lurk on B, right? All these, all these conditions, and then having the awareness of, of all that, gaining all, all all that, gaining all that information, and then compiling that up to make a decision based off of that. Right? Any questions so yeah. far? No. Okay. Uh, you can't buy next round. Okay, I don't need to. Okay, okay let's see, two is executing fast. Oh my god. Heading division. I have a quick drop. Just dark ACP, drone ACP. 
You can't you can't be afraid of the smoke. Yeah. Area. One 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 Let's get kill. Plants. Don't plant here, always plant in the corner. Always plant the main. Yeah, I, I wanted to cross, but I wasn't sure about the attack. Last guy was up. You want to cross, actually. but your team has cleared. Like, just look at the minimap. Your Vayne yeah. is sitting in CT spawn. Your right. Jet and your Astro are on drop, looking at ropes. So like, and and your Cypher is inside A main. So like, there's nowhere that the enemy can be, for that would catch you while you're rotating toward the corner. Like, just look at the minimap. You can always see like where your team is at, what they're looking at. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly safe to have that fun. Yeah, that jet was oh. above us. Oh, hey. I mean, besides I that, I mean, worst case, like maybe that jet drops down, kills you, but your whole team is gonna turn around and kill her. So it's not a big deal. Yeah. Hey. What the fuck? There's no way he's just sitting up there. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> if you're not a good shot today, don't worry. What's about to say? Okay, yeah, let me pause here. Let me ask you, what did you notice from the last round? Uh, Besides the fact that you guys won the round, but what else did you notice? So they had a killjoy flanking. Okay. Um, what and did she flank? From main side. Okay. What else? What else did you notice? He just sits there. He's like. So, they doubled up ropes, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see. Like CT spawn ropes, you mean? Yeah. Okay. They doubled up so CT. Okay, so they. Okay, so that that three on site actually on A. Because the jet was on top of A site the entire time. Then they were playing two towards ropes. And then the Kojo was flanking from main. Okay. That's all I really noticed, actually. Yeah. So, the you're absolutely right. The, the 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 killjoy went on a quick flank through a main, and they stacked three people on a. Right. So to me, that tells me that they're they're starting to pick up on your your a your a your team's like a hits, such that. If your team were to fake A, it would probably be extremely successful because they're they're rotating to A really quickly and or they're stacking A like immediately. That they're leaving B like undefended. So another point bullet point I want to add to this is that throughout the rounds, like while you're playing, that you wanna to try to pick up information or habits from the enemy team and let that dictate your plays for future rounds. Whether that's the next round, the next two rounds, or whatever. Alright, makes sense? Yep. Okay. At the beginning of the round. And then I saw his head. Uh, now I'm not gonna trick it, trip it something. I'm just gonna open this door. Ready? Yeah. What? what? Three, three, drop? Drop? three people drop. Wow. <laughs> nah, I'm doing weird. I should monkey hard, eh? Standing ahead. Be shouldn't be anybody on site. When is gonna be A main lane? Yeah, the corner. Yeah, bomb. Turn the corner. Yeah, bomb. Turn the corner. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta trust your jet. One enemy remaining. You're welcome. Right. Sure? Tiny tidbits uh, is that instead of droning from this cover One again, again pay attention to like where your team is positioned and what angles they're, they're covering. It seems like you're you're droning from this side because you're worried about someone who could be on sand, but there's no way that someone could be sand without your jet seeing them or without your Astra seeing them. So if your goal is to drone a main. You can get much closer. You can like start droning from like this corner to your left here, and then now your drone has an extra two seconds. It can go deeper into a main. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, open. Oh, yeah. Open. Right, so he's open door. He's probably sand. Yeah, he's oh, right. sure. You should call out to your team, so he's running to the door. He's low, he's low. I don't see her. Okay. I should have stopped moving. I would care. So next bullet points. Pay attention to your <coughs> team's... Yeah, your teammates' positions and angles that they are holding. Imagine trying to flank when you have a fucking enemy cipher. What the fuck? Get out of my way! Enemy spotted A. Damn, I'm gonna reverse it. Attacker spawn. Okay, well, probably not what you can do here. I can try to flank when you have a fucking enemy cipher. What the fuck? Why well, yeah, the only thing I can say is just the other team should stop going. Hey, <laughs> they're playing with default. I think so. Like they burn, they burn two astro orbs, trying try to do a suck pull or cuss right. pull, and then then the jet ults, burns a dash, <laughs> and white swings commits to a gunfight. <laughs> Spawn. At this point, like your team should just give up, eh? Like, as soon as you see all this utility and ults being spent, instead just have all five people just go B or keep one person like hiding T spawn. Kill the Reyna like a normal person, human being. Okay, now man, you guys go A again. Deploying drone. Open door. Open cipher. Open cipher. Open cipher. Scanning ahead. This this A push is over. There's already people here, and yeah. you guys are trapped. At this point, I was just one. I would run all the way to be full sprint because you have a, a separate trip and a cam. Yeah, the longer you stay here, the, mo the more likely it is the enemy team's gonna stack it. Continue like rotating and stacking A. Hopefully, you guys don't go A again. Okay, never mind. They like stack drop more than main. It's weird. Take flight. Nice. Give me those back. Yo, I don't, I'm not expecting them to fucking bait each other every round, it's so weird. I'm up, I'm up guys. You ready? One CC. That should go fast, I think. Revealing area. Enemy spotted A. Oh. Oh. Careful, kill your ult. Might consider ulting it to counter it. Right. Yeah, I was trying to cross oh. from main here, I think. There you go. Yeah. Could be I had my jet smoke me out. Nice. No. Okay. You could smoke, Careful. looks like she read your body language. You want to <coughs> it. Wait, what? Drop, drop. Let Evan know when they tap. You should run. Just ult it. Ult it for your team before you your team dies. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I was gonna run back and do that. Never mind, you better. Oh, oh okay. Oh my yeah, I know. Yeah, he lined up with the ult. Wait. He's lucky, so, okay. Let's go B. I'm I want to go B main man then. Welcome to my world! Ooh, that might be on B. Is that on B? Okay, let me pause here. Let me ask you what you're thinking. So... <clears throat> I think I take the orb here. I'm not sure. But, um... I mean, we're smoked off, so... I think my plan is just to kind of wait here with Jet until the smoke dies down, and then we can walk up, and I'll probably arrow sight, and we can try to take sight like that. Okay. What is he thinking? What is, wait, what is he thinking? What what else are you thinking? Oh, what else am I, um... Let's see. So... Well, I mean, okay, well, there, well there, there's a Viper ult on site. Okay. I was thinking, so... Like, if my arrow didn't get him, I could probably try to drone as well, right? And if we can just tag him, then we can... Then we can kill him, I think. Okay. But... 
I mean, the other option is just to completely rotate off. Yeah. Which I don't know if we... I, I don't remember if we did that or not. Yeah. So this is a little bit more specific, but when the Viper ults, it's pretty common that she'll tell her team that she's going to ult A or ult B and then tell her team teammates to all stack the opposite site. And then yes. you as Sova, being the hardest Viper ult counter because you have ults you tell that can mm -hmm. safely ping or look through her alts without like without risking yourself or risking anyone's life. That you could uh, you could decide to actually just like hit the site that Viper is, is alting. And right. then it would be a little bit of a gamble, but it could easily pay off if because if what's likely happens is that the Viper is the only one, only one on site and then she gets pinged inside her ult and then she dies from like five people set up in a firing squad and then your team just like swarms the site and takes control of site right off of that. Okay. But so just give that as an option, but uh, you have the right idea that you want to play with your team and if your team doesn't want to go off that, that plan, then you can just execute a, a default play on B. Other thing I'm thinking too is that um, your team has hit A multiple times that this is the first time that they're designed to hit B. If they're designed to hit B like quietly, what you can do is, is tell your team just play slow toward B, walk toward B. I'm going to make noise at A. I'm going to bait the enemy team. I'm going to like full spent through A hull or full spent through drop. And then force myself to get into a gunfight and make a bunch of noise. Make them like overly rotate. While your team like gets an easier entry onto B. Okay. All right, so given these as, as options. Okay. So let's see how you play this round. Before your team just walking, walking, walking. Ooh, that might be MD. And you say you want to get the orb, or I would not get the orb. A... Can't hear anything because Rob Slime won't shut up. Uh, yeah, I would not get the orb. Your orb is not very useful because you're not even close to getting your ult. And your whole team has been walking. So if I was the enemy team, if I was like standing in canteen and I hear the orb get grabbed, and I don't hear any footsteps off that. That's automatically information that, okay, there's people walking B. At least one person is walking B. Right, so like, unless you're you're going to get good value, like you're going to get your ult off this orb, like it's not, it's not worth giving up that information to the enemy team. Okay. Putting up smoke. Let's see, whose star is that? <clears throat> I don't think that's ours. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the enemy Astra. Astra. It's also red, yeah. Go. She probably did that because you grabbed the orb, because you made noise. Standing ahead. Someone's in defender spawn. Oh, oh, Spike down, B. <laughs> So I think you made the execute harder than it needs, needed to be, even though your team kind of like just won all the gunfights. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to tell with the fucking map, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's a flying drone. Crowded. Hey, left side. Find one more here. Find one more here. Two. There's two more drops. Holy fuck, Come, come, come. Wait, you actually did the first one flank, yo, follow me, go away, follow me, go away. Come in, come in, come in, it's empty, it's B, I mean, B, I mean, B, this is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it comes a little confusing, but you yeah, guys definitely should have just went run, B. Run to B, run to B. Yeah, that's, that's why I was so confused, because he kept saying A, so then I actually went A site. <laughs> just run, just run to B, run to B. Huge clutch? Yeah, 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 yeah no, on, 1v5 more. Like, just clutching the entire thing. If, you if your goal is to... Location is drop bomb. What? You don't need to jump, you know she's there. There's a big tank, but you're not gonna really capitalize on it. Yeah. What the fuck? Mid, 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 by generator, by generator. Where's Viper? Viper unknown, right? Something you should consider doing is that when you're on B stairs, have some sort of lineup, or even before you're on B stairs, have some sort of lineup that, that 
ends up in CT spawn or that ends up in canteen so that while you're wait, 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 by pushing generator, up generator. these stairs like you don't have to like check right. so many angles you check in CT you check more CT <laughs> you we check uh, canteen I need right? to worry about generator I need to worry about to the right side of canteen right like use your arrow to help you entry help you clear help you and your team clear angles They are. Please, Just shot, 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 yeah, I probably should have just completely hid, maybe. This is worth celebrating. So, a couple of options here. Find yourself stuck in sights. Right around Wait, here. Reload. So, after reload, you can, like, one option is to hide in this box, but it's not really ideal because there's an Aries. He's just going to spray you through this box no matter what. Wait, don't, don't probably what I would do is that I would either hug this corner to my left here. Yeah. <clears throat> And then, like, try to try not to expose myself to to canteen at the same time. So I'm trying to use this corner, but not tuck myself into the corner so that I'm, I'm trying to hide from both angles at the same time. Does that make sense? Or the other option is if I if I try to make my way onto sites, like around here. So like, if I go straight to the left and I tuck myself on site, or Best case, I go straight and I go to a tower, go right side to a tower. But those, obviously, those are a bit further to rotate and then therefore riskier. But the reward is higher, where it's like guaranteed you have the best view and guaranteed you can trade off whatever your jet makes contact of. Right? Make sense? Yep. Okay. But even if you're if you're worried about taking that risk, then at least tuck yourself into this left corner here, because you, this angle here, you're fully exposed to CT spawn. If that rifle peeks out, you're you're forced to commit to that one v one. What you want to do in in advantageous situations like this is a two v one, what you want to do is is to force two v ones to happen as much as possible. Right. Instead I, of, I don't yeah. wait. Is this so? I think this corner, like the one that you're lo looking at to the left. I think this is still exposed can to canteen though. So like you wouldn't you out. wouldn't tuck yourself directly into the corner. You would stand a little bit, a little bit behind the corner. If that makes sense. Oh okay yeah so so like just up against the wall right but like yeah against the wall and 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 using using the box though as cover. Okay. Right exactly. Okay I see. Okay. <clears throat> okay that round. Okay. Yeah. Hold the hold the sword. Wait, should I suck? I don't, I'm not gonna suck. Hmm. No. I'm actually gonna pull my smoke back. That may, maybe they'll walk up. Nope. They smoked off me. Watching, watching top, top tower, tower right now. Actually, kill Joy Tower. Kill Joy Tower. They're getting close to the right smoke. Now. I'm actually gonna pull my smoke back. That may maybe they'll walk up. Nope. So here you get smoked off. Okay, so we just hold this angle. And then several seconds later, we should consider pushing up. Do you see why? Yeah, because my team's now pushing up as well. Right, exactly. So your team restacked on arcade is like yeah. pushing up pretty soon. They're, they're probably gonna push onto sites. And then you the, only, don't want... the only thing I was worried about was since I have the bomb alone, right? I yeah. wasn't confident in just pushing it on my own. So you wouldn't necessarily you wouldn't necessarily push through the smoke, right? You would just get closer to the smoke, get closer, or okay. or ideally you get inside the smoke, but that's also another risk just in case. Who knows? Maybe someone's hiding inside the smoke. But right. best case, you should still be able to get closer to the smoke, so that. When your team does execute on the site, on top tower right now. like right around here, like you're just watching your rain at the minimap, your rain is like already peaking, like 
uh, close right as soon as you get to the top of the stairs. And then she gets to a gunfight. At this point, we should be thinking that we want to execute ACP. Executing off contact. But now the smoke is dissipated. Now the rain is peaking the entirety of sight. And then we're still like, oh, we're going to dart. This dart's way too late, even if you did dart. Yeah, this execute is already happening. Already happening. We're not doing anything, anything valuable. Oh. So if we were quicker, quicker, maybe we could have already gotten into sight. Like so maybe like while Arena, like here she's peeking like all of sights, peek peek like the tower stairs, and now she's peeking back sights. That we would already be on site with her instead of now we're super far behind. Now we're just looking at smokes. <clears throat> Excuse me, looking at smokes at TT spawning and canteen that. We're just kind of not getting any value. Well, all, the, all these gunfights have already happened. Two gunfights have already happened, and we were not part of any either of them. Okay, next, the team clutches his out. <clears throat> just replace it then. Oh my god. One drop, one, drop, uh, one, one by, by arcade. arcade. I'm gonna pull if she caps. Probably should just darted something right away. Okay, out. So here you're thinking, okay, maybe we need to save dart for some specific thing. Yeah, that's what, that's then... what I usually do. I, I I used to I used to always use my arrow like right at the beginning of the round, but then what would end up happening is that like we would get pushed on the other side, and then I wouldn't have an arrow for it. Yeah, you just have to like gauge the the situation gauge the pace of the match like how likely is it that the enemy team is going to hard execute on the opposite bomb sites and you'll if you and you won't have your arrow available to for retake right yeah but in oh this case God. like it's 5v4 Yorena she peaked she peaked like the bottom oh of, of oh dish then she's like okay falling back at this point, I would already consider just just darting a hall to get information, and then your your jet has also spotted someone like these stairs. Yeah, she spotted oh some oh some B stairs. That's why the voice line like enemy spotted B. Oh. Yeah, some B stairs. So to me, this tells me that the team, the enemy team, is is probably defaulting because they had one B stairs, they had one dish. Maybe they could have one A hall, and then if you darted, you would have the information, and then you would you would, you would like slow down you'd be able to slow down the match or slow down this round so that you'll probably have another dart like by by the time that they're in position to execute or you'll have their dart available by the time that you do need your dart to 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 use it again or for, to use it for retake or like the time that you would that you would need your dart for a retake is after like say like two two your teammates die right but that's going to be much Longer later, much later, because it's a five before. All right? Does that make sense? Yep. So, like using like these little advantages that you have, given the situation, you can probably use your dart and then have your dart available again. Mm -hmm. And then also think about like what your dart Wonder buys you, like, because you're you game. don't have eyes on a hall. And here you're really concerned oh, that oh, someone could be a hall. You're probably not too worried about dish just because your Vayner was just at dish, killed someone, and then she also peaked the bottom of dish. So unless someone went, like was right behind the viper and started walking up as soon as your Vayner left, that most likely no one's at dish yeah, at this point. They only have after shit now. Fine. Let's see, the time that I would consider dining would be like around here, so that's like 30. And then again, you get, you get your dart back after 35 seconds. Yeah, they only have Astra shit now. So already it's been 20 seconds. You have your dart again in Nine, 10 seconds. Not in main? Not in main. Okay. They probably went back and now you have your dart reveal up again. And I was like, these crucial moments where like, you're the initiator in the team, and you're not really doing anything to get to get to get information for your team. 
with your dart, your drone, or even just shoulder peeking something. Just short, like jiggle peek into aiming and just see, is anybody aiming? No? Okay, let me peek something else. Instead, you're just like playing really passive on rope and sort of watching drop, okay, but again, you're not really doing anything with your utility. What? He's lurking. Like no way you kill him with the shorty in OT. That's fucked up. At this point, I even consider just burning your drone. Oh. That just like, you just drone through, through door, a main. Make sure that's clear, and then you, you can be a more useful body somewhere else. <laughs> what kind of rat shit are these guys doing? Planning yeah. A. So imagine if you if you darted a hall, you probably, you probably could have spotted this and stopped this completely. And you still have your dart available. I still have a smoke. Sight in, 100%. Don't fuck me, man. Oh, gosh, just hide. This drone is a little bit early. I mean, I guess you can you can drone with your Reyna. Yeah, that's But ideally, you would, you would wait for your jet, wait for your Astra to come. Then all you guys can push together. And then, okay, you get information that Astra is here. Then you should communicate to your Reyna and say, hey, just hold the angle. I'm gonna shock dart sight, and that's gonna be like a guaranteed kill on this on this uh, Astra. I still have a smoke. Instead of like pushing further yeah, and then doing a dart, we uh, an arrow. Instead, of just tell Yuena, just hold the hold the angle for me. I'm gonna dart. Oh, I'm gonna shock dart. Oh, oh I'm almost Instead, she, instead she's allowed to kill two people because like. Uh, I still have a smoke. Because you guys are yeah, 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 yeah. kind of aggressive before your jets here. Oh. And you weren't really able to capitalize on the information you got. You, the information you got with your drone, telling you that okay, this is the Astron site by yourself. Just sit there, set up the darts, guaranteed kill. Oh, I almost threw. Oh, God. Hold up. Tower again. again. Yeah, you should. Have spy the right so they have to peek it like right here. Let me check for off. I don't see anyone. Okay. I'm gonna join up here. Oh, that's one of these days. Enemy tag. I don't want to put Actually, I would even say that, uh, Oh, okay, no, it looks like Yasha already made some made some noise. Enemy tag. But basically, that drone kind of kind of give away your position at, at B stairs. So now the enemy team knows that there's at least one arcade and there's at least one B stairs. That's already two thirds of the re re remaining team. That the enemy team is probably gonna rotate early. Just go away. I think you guys just all group A. I mean B. I mean B. I'm so, 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 so you guys have to just plant. Oh, I did. Ma I made a really stupid play here. I remember. Mid. Mid. I'm gonna run a refill canteen. Obscuring vision. Could have won in here, yeah, but I, I threw this one. I remember. I think I think I okay. kids. Oh no. The hunt begins! She's weak though. She's didn't weak. heal, didn't heal. 99. She's a star on the bomb? No. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear the rain when you heal. Oh no! That's a high priority target than who's tapping. Yeah, also you can, you can oh, shock that and bounce off the wall. It wasn't rain on the bomb. Yeah, that's what like, yeah. yeah, yeah, we were yeah, discussing yeah. right afterwards. I've also used their gun like a normal person. Oh my god, I didn't shoot. <clears throat> Ken, same okay. thing as defense, we're, we're doing nothing in CT spawn. <laughs> Wait, I... Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say don't smoke that because I'm offing. They smoked it off anyways. There's a smoke behind the smoke. Is there? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. At least they have no KJ ult. Yeah, yeah, we're 46 in tower. tower. 
Okay, imagine what? if you died at the beginning of the round, you have your dope back ready. And then this Vayner <laughs> wouldn't be able to load the entire Vayner. Yo, I threw. No, I should just locked up next to fucking chat first. I killed chat and then kill Planter, because Planter would have already planted. Yeah, don't push that. There's, there's, there's definitely, definitely like, like at least two drops or something. something. No. Wait, give arrow to sight? You guys should just commit to that. Maybe we go. Yeah, don't push that. Yeah, So, right here, it's unfortunate that your Renick gets picked off, but now you know exactly where the Viper is. And you're standing right there with your your, your Cypher. So, what you could do is that you could just open the door, and both of you guys would just like double peek her, 2v1. Or you can like. Um, throw tr tr uh, a shock dart to bounce it off the, the wall and land in your face while your cypher like holds, holds the angle or something right both of those things would be like almost guaranteed kills instead of like here okay we spray but as soon as we hear like running on the sand we should just open the door and try to catch your mid rotation like don't let her get away right she, sh she should get punished for playing this like one and one position Instead of I know that she wanted to, she, yeah, it's she could. Just, what is it? All right, like our jet ended up, ended up asking for an arrow for sight. Just, just ignore the jet. What's important right now is the viper. Because like right now is not the time to execute. Right now you and your cipher are not in position to follow up on any sort of jet play. Right now you're you're both in position to kill this viper. So you should just kill the viper. Kedra's here. Kedra's here. Standing ahead. Maybe we go back B. Can we go back B? Reloading. Okay, there's, there's no, no one in power. We're not reloading. Don't die again, please. Yeah. <clears throat> they crossed the EM real quick. I said I was gonna cross the EM, but okay. Do you? Just one. I hear one in the canteen. 30 seconds. Hyper's lit. One's close to us, Gary. You have to go fast. You have to go fast. One tower, one tower. Lucky. Oh. Last player Lucky standing. No. Oh, no way you just stand there, Evan. 10 seconds left. Fast, I think like here you, you just happened to be in a slope while this happened. Yeah. Go fast, you have to go fast. One's close to us, Gary. Concealment! You have to go fast, you have to go fast. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? No, I don't think so. Okay, so let me share my other screen, the notes that we took. Uh spline. Okay, so a common issue, like I keep saying in many rounds, is that you keep playing really far back, that uh, your team is in danger, your team is like about to take a gunfight, your team is like playing super close with a shotgun or whatever, the, whatever, and you're still waiting on the other side of a wall, you're, you're waiting on the other side of a smoke, or you're, you're still sitting in CT spawn while, while your team is out and about making the play. And this is more apparent in like sort of the early rounds where like you know, you're, you're on defense, your team is is already like in a gunfight, and then we're just we're just still, still just like chilling basically. Instead, we should think that whenever our team is like in a gunfight, whenever our team is playing aggressive, we also want to play aggressive. We also want to get into that gunfight ASAP. To the point where like if a gunfight happens and we're not able to be a part of that gunfight, we're not able to contribute to that gunfight, then we should. Not only question our current position, but we should question our position from 10 seconds ago. 5 to 10 seconds ago, like, could I have gotten closer? Was there some sort of cue that I missed that, that could have told me that this gunfight was about to happen? And that maybe I could have um, been more aware of that? Been more aware that, oh, my jet's salting, my jet is updrafting, my jet is dashing. That, oh, probably something's going to happen in the next couple seconds. Probably I should, like, hold W and, like, do something. And... 
get in position so that when this fight does happen that I'm there to contribute, I'm there to trade my teammate out, I'm there to help them with whatever I can do to help them. Alright, uh, next bullet points, there's many rounds that on default, like on, on defense that by default you just like, you kind of sit around CT spawn and you, you, you watch nothing and you do basically nothing. And there's even a couple of rounds where the, the enemy, enemy Reyna like lurked through a hall like twice and, <laughs> and, and like she was already made it to like, uh, to your face and like CT spawn and like, like almost like sort of catch, caught you off guard. Like actually like basically never happened, right? If that happens, that means like they, they've completely downloaded your gameplay that like, you keep playing CT spawn and then you give up all this map control. You don't gain any, any information for your team that you're, you're kind of like useless for the first 30 seconds of, the, of every single round. So especially yourself, like as an initiator, you have tools to get information. And even if you're not an initiator, you can still juggle peek for information. You can still hold an un uncommitted angle for information. Hold a really tight angle with like an op, a marshal, or even just like ADS, whatever. Just like a tiny pixel to see if somebody crosses. Like for example, if you play, if, you're, if your goal is to watch a hall, then you can watch a hall, like the all the way down a hall, and with like a tiny pixel, so that if someone does walk into a hall, then you'll see them, and then you can disengage like immediately. You don't have to commit to that fight, or just use your util. Like you have dart, you have drone, your dart comes back in 30, 35 seconds, which is like insanely fast. You can dart like three, four, four, three to four times per round, right? Like Dart is, is like probably is easily like Sova's like strongest ability next to the drone, right? Mm -hmm. There's there's a couple of rounds where you can several rounds actually you can you can dart and then you have dart available again because you because your team or the 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 round has not played out super fast. Instead, it's just more like a default or your team played slow or well, the enemy team played slow that you can dart you can use your dart dart multiple times. And then whenever you, you use your dart, try to use it so that it, it can get you some sort of value. Whether it's like you're too afraid of a hall, you're not sure if someone's a hall, so just shoot a dart into a hall and then see if it clears, see if it pings anybody. Or if it, ideally, if it can clear the entirety of a hall so that if someone was there, they will, ha they will have to shoot it, which gives away their position, or it pings them, which gives away their position. And you have the idea that there, there are times that you want to save your dart for retake or you want to save your dart for your your team when your team asks for it but you should still have some some default plays with your dart to gain information or to set yourself up like there's many times that uh, this this kind of goes to the next bullet points that you want to try to gain information for your team whenever possible instead of playing extremely passive like sitting in ct spawn you want to be Doing whatever you can to get information, whether it's through your utility or just being positioned close, so that you, maybe you can pick up footsteps, or hear footsteps, and relay relay that relay that information to your team. And then you 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 and your team can like make better educated decisions based off of that that information that you gathered. So next bullet point that uh, say like uh, you you dart. Um, using your dart to, to set up plays for yourself, for example, in cases where your team um, doesn't ask for a dart, or maybe you have a good V that, oh, they keep going B, let me dart A, and then make an aggressive push through A, right? And that's something I brought up uh, a couple of times that you could have, you could have, like, um, jiggle peek, like, from dish, see that no one's dish, maybe you can shoot a dart into a T-spawn of dish, see that no one's there, and then suddenly that you can, you have a super fast flank, you can just, like, push through, like halfway of CT of a T spawn, and then start walking, and then that saves you like probably like fifteen seconds. And then when when the enemy team does execute on to B, now you have a, like a perfect flank set up, and you can get huge value that way. Or you can gain value by saying that oh, there's nobody dish. I'm pushing through dish. There's no more T spawn. I'm pushing through T spawn. Or you you dart into a hall. You say no one's a hall. You, you push up, you get close to a hall, you drone, then you say, okay, a hall's clear, T spawn's clear, now you push from, you get a flank on, on B stairs, for example. And meanwhile, you can tell your team, hey, no one's a hall or no one's dish, 
just rotate early. If you're a cipher, take your trips, or maybe you leave one trip on a hall and then you rotate early to, to B, because most likely it's going to be B. Right? So this all kind of ties all in together. So we're like, you want to maximize your value every single round. And as, a, as an initiator, you want to be gaining as much information as possible for your team. All right. Sorry. Any questions so far? No. <clears throat> okay. So those are the major, major issues, minor issues. One, don't be afraid of a little smoke. There's a couple of rounds, maybe maybe several rounds where that you were separated from your team from because of a smoke, and then you kind of just sat there and got like zero value. Well, your team was like in danger of getting peaked. Your your team was like in a gunfight. Your team was like trying to rotate. That that you allowed the, the smoke to, to isolate those 1v1s. Instead, you should just like, worst case, you stand inside of the smoke so that if your team decides to rotate or try, like tries to, or gets into a gunfight, then you're that much closer to being in position to trade out your teammate. So again, you don't, you don't want to be playing passive while your team is playing aggressive or while your team is in danger. If your if your teammate is about to be in a gunfight, you better make sure that you're you're doing whatever you can to, to join that gunfight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so second thing, community your team, everything that you see and that you hear. So again, this goes back to like information gathering. Um, you want to relay as get or feed as much information to your team as possible so that they can make the, the best educated decisions as possible. So there was like one round that you were playing on, on B, for example, and you heard a couple of people at, at the B orb and that uh, your jet spotted someone at, at Arcade or your asteroid died to someone at Arcade. Automatically, you can tell your team, hey, three people B, one person at Arcade, two people at the B orb, and then that kind of tells you, the rest of your team, like your, two, your two players at A, just tells your cypher, hey, you should consider rotating early. Or hey, your Vena, you're lurking. You just you should speed up your lurk instead of continue walking through dish. Then you need to consider like full sprinting, or you need to consider giving up your lurk and like rotating faster through CT spawn. But your team's not going to be able to make those decisions, or make those educated decisions without information that you specifically have, because you're the only person who who can hear people from B from B stairs if you're the only person on B site. All right, so yep. next bullet point, uh, try to pick up information and habits from the enemy team and let that dictate your plays for future rounds. There's way too many rounds that your team just like kept executing A over and over and over again. Even when they started to stack like three to four people in A, like that's the time you should be thinking that we shouldn't hit A, we should go B. Or if we do decide to go A, we should fake A, then go B. Or we should send one person A and then fake A while the rest of the team goes B, right? So I try to collect information about how the enemy team plays, where like they start to play really aggressive on dish, they start to play really aggressive on, on A hall, that maybe instead of going A, we just keep one person outside of A. We keep one person in T spine and have them just kind of sit there, wait for them to push A. Then, or maybe maybe we don't even push A, we just have the whole team just sit in T spawn, wait for the push. You guys, they would just walk into like a firing squad of your team. After they, after they all die, then your team pushes A. But you know, you're only going to be able to come up with these plays if you gather the information that the enemy team has given you. Well, who plays where, how they like to play, how many people do they play A versus B, how, uh, how many people do they send on a flank, how often do they flank, etc. Right? Yep. So... Last bullet point, pay attention to your team's positions and angles that they are holding. So a lot of it is just looking at your teammates through the map or through the through the, through the walls and looking at the minimap as like as much as possible. Whenever that you have like some downtime, just look at the minimap. If you're not holding an angle, look at the minimap and pay attention. Where's my teammates? What what are they, where are they positioned? What are angles are they holding? What are they looking at? What are they seeing? What what don't they see? And there's a couple of times where like you're planning the bomb and 
you're planning safe, but your team has like full control of like everything, every possible angle that can possibly kill. It. I guess the exception of like someone um, that jet that was on on top of site, but like a hall, a hall was covered, drop was covered, CT spawn was covered, and sand was covered. So like, there's no reason to even be planning default. You should just plant as as greedily as possible. And then other situations where besides like the bomb plant that you're you're afraid to make certain rotations. Well, those rotations are actually pretty safe if you pay attention to, oh, my teammate is actually covering me for these three to five seconds. I can make this rotation within those three to five seconds very safely. Instead of thinking that, oh, I'm trapped here because uh, I'm not sure I'm, someone might peek me while I'm mid-rotation. Well, if they peek you mid-rotation, then your teammate is going to trade you out. All right. Any questions so far? Yep. No, nothing. All right. Yeah, so if you need any more reviews in the future, just uh, let me know. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, okay, so one thing I did want to say. So, okay, well, I, I took a screenshot of this, so I have this. But the recording that you're doing right now, right? Um, yep. Uh, okay, you, you can send this to me, right? Like, after yep. we're done. Okay. Just so that if I ever need to, like, look back on it, I I can do that. Yep. But um Yeah. I think that should be it then. Yeah, I can just copy and paste this too. You know the screenshot it. Yep. Okay, All right, something else then uh I'll stop no, you then. That's pretty much it then.